Hey, let's talk about the UK's proposed anti-boycott bill, Overseas Edition. This is a bill that campaigners in the UK are saying conflates the BDS movement with anti-Semitism. BDS is a Palestinian-led movement that works to end international support for Israel's systematic oppression of Palestinians and pressure Israel to comply with international law. This new economic activity of public bodies bill, which is still to be scrutinized in Parliament, seeks to outlaw public bodies from boycotting foreign states based on political or moral disapproval of the conduct of those governments. Taking aim at the BDS movement, it specifically identifies Israel and Palestinian territories as places that cannot be boycotted by public bodies. Essentially, the bill would prevent public bodies like universities and local councils from adopting their own approach to foreign policy. But why? The bill's explanatory document says the BDS movement may undermine the UK's foreign policy, and the opponents of BDS argue that the campaign may offer a pretext to anti-Semitism. And who did they quote to support that? Former Home Secretary Priti Patel, who says the BDS movement is anti-Semitic. The Palestine Solidarity Campaign's chairman, Ben Jamal, criticized the bill, saying, such rhetoric creates a false and dangerous equivalence between Jewish people and the policies of the State of Israel, with effect of silencing advocates for human rights. And pro-Palestine groups say the attack on BDS displays double standards, as the government supports measures against Russia over its invasion of Ukraine. They say the bill is an attempt to create a shield for Israel. And the bill comes at a time when thousands of Israelis are protesting every week against their own government, the most far-right government in Israel's history. Even some UK Zionist youth movements oppose the bill. The bill is still yet to be debated in Parliament and could be subject to amendments before it becomes law.